What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to cover the latest trailer from Bungie which showcases many great new exotics. It's pretty damn epic and some of these exotics truly look insane people. But before we do that, every single month people I'm giving away a fully customizable controller. To be in with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details will follow the video. Okay, so if you haven't seen the trailer yet, Check it out. Forsaken. Available September 4th. Pre-order and get the Ace of Spades last hand ornament plus Cade's exotic stash. Wow. Just wow. Lots to talk about people. Firstly we see the two-tailed fox. This was previously called the twin rabbit and we have seen this weapon in action before and we know what it does besides firing just the two rockets. It has gravity and fire which indicates both these rockets fire track targets but the void rocket will suppress enemies and the solar rocket causes damage over time. Nice, I wonder why they changed its name. Either way, the weapon looks great and I cannot wait to grind for it. Next up we see these new titan exotic legs called the Antaeus Wards, I believe that's pronounced. These things deflect projectiles such as rockets. To do this, just initiate your slide while that rocket is coming towards you. Now as epic as these do sound, I think they won't be used much. I mean, actually timing a slide for when a rocket is coming for your face would be pretty damn hard in my opinion. And there are plenty of other exotics in the game now for the Titan at the moment, which people would probably rather use over these right now. Okay, so moving on to another exotic, and this one we have seen before, the Trinity Ghoul. Precision kills create electronical storm arrows. Watch how this group of enemies look like they have been struck by four. That's what this weapon should have been called. Four. Epic. Next up, we have this new hunter chess piece called the Sith Coyote. This allows you to dodge twice with one charge. I mean, this would have been a great exotic and I'm pretty sure a lot of us hunters would have used it. But we have the Wormhorse Crown now. We don't care about having two dodges when we have a Helm which allows us to heal upon dodging. Thanks Bungie, but no thanks. Next up, we have what everyone thought was either the Fawn or a relation to it. And it still could be. That's the relation, by the way, it ain't the Fawn. And it's called the Malfeasance, I believe that's pronounced, and it's an exotic hand cannon. And what this does is, five hits detonate an explosion. Looks and sounds super cool, and I cannot wait to start grinding for this. Next up we have the Black Talon Exotic Sword. This we have seen before, and as I speculate on, it does fire projectiles. Out of its blade upon a deadly swing. Absolutely amazing people. I said it before when I'm talking about this, they can keep bringing exotic swords, but at the end of the day they're just a sword, they swing. We need something unique if they're going to bring us another exotic sword, and firing projectiles out of one is definitely unique, so I welcome it. Moving on, and we have something which looks, well, the best I've seen by far, by a country mile, the 1000 Voices. 
So this trace rifle fires an exploding beam of fire. So draw a line on the ground in between a group of enemies and expect a barbecue. Absolutely awesome. And I mean, it just looks absolutely brutal, people. Amazing. Next up, we have something I actually had to double take and look back on, making sure I was reading this properly. It's a new warlock exotic chess piece called the Chromatic Fire. Listen to this. Elemental explosions from precision kinetic kills. So you are telling me, Bungie, every kinetic weapon when using this chess piece on headshots causing an explosion? Really? So you're telling me the Huckleberry gets Rampage, Ambitious Assassin, and Firefly? The Crimson with a headshot gets a refilled mag, also heals you, and now has Firefly? Really? My Immortal has high caliber rounds, third eye, and Firefly, and with the Catalyst it also has Outlaw? What? What about the Vigilance Wing, the Suicide Regime, the Sturm, the Sweet Business, the Rat King? And those are just the exotics, people. What about weapons such as the Origin Story, the Antiope, the Redrix's Claymore? People, I could just go on forever. My Warlock is currently a level 3. I'm about to log on now and play all night to get him up to scratch. What the f***? Damn, damn, damn. Okay, now I want to move on, but I don't think I can. Ridiculous people, that is just one of the best sand and exotics I've ever heard. Okay, so let's move on. And we have another exotic bowl. This one called the Wish Ender. See through walls and pierce targets. Damn, 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 crazy people. But if you notice, they make sure you can't actually constantly be looking through walls targeting people. There is a cooldown. We see this kind of energy build up on the weapon when you aim down sight and it slowly decreases as you are aiming. Great. We then have the Ace of Spades, reloading after a kill grants extra bullet damage. Hmm, I wonder how this will stack up in PvP guys. Could be what most hand cannon folks out there are looking for when it comes to a faster time to kill in PvP with hand cannons. We will see people, we will see, but it sounds promising. We then see a selection of unconfirmed exotics, but most of them will probably be them. We see this sleeve on this hunter's arm piece, which must belong to an exotic. It just looks well too unique to be of something standard. We then see this shotgun, which has this weird glowing text upon it, and also touches of what looks like bones. Amazing. We then see this weapon again. Still, we know nothing about it. It does kind of look like a dreg's promise, but to say what it is for sure would be guessing at this point. We then get another glimpse at the Cerberus Plus One, an epic looking auto rifle with four barrels. We then see this, no idea what it is, either an AR or an SMG. Looks awesome though and I cannot wait to learn more. We then see this amazing looking helmet, no idea why people but it reminds me of something out of Borderlands. And lastly, exotic wise, we see this Titan chest piece which seems to be pulsating with green ooze. Amazing. Okay guys, so we're going to end on this. Take a look. I will leave this image on screen for a few seconds. Yes people, this is the Prison of Elders Titan Helmet, the Cow Slayer's Helm. Well, you will have to come to your own conclusion on this. Let me know what you think down below in that comments section. On that note guys, I am out. Some amazing new exotics coming with the Forsaken DLC and I cannot wait to get my hands on some of these. I cannot wait to start grinding people, I really can't. But before we go guys, every single month I am giving away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and have that bell button ticked. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. And follow the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description. Fast, simple and legit guys. But on that note, I am out and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the